Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, Power Apps newly launched feature that is working with SharePoint image type column directly through Power Apps. As you can see, I have this product detail app, which contains these two images and these images are directly coming from my SharePoint list uh, image type column. I have this uh, IMG column, which I have created. If I go to the column setting of this one, you will see the type is image and you can create new image type column from this add column here directly. Name it image type. That's it. And now you can call it to your power apps directly. You can insert images from power apps to your image column directly and can uh, update them and delete them as well. So let's just talk about how you can do that. I have created this uh, app already. And uh, if I go to my this new form screen, you can see it, right? I will delete it and showcase you how you can do that as well. Go to your insert, search for edit form, right? Once you have the form, first you have to add your data source connection. Once the connection is added, select the data source from here. In my case, it is product list. Once I do that, it will get all the column inside that list in the screen attachment is by default there i will delete this i don't need it all right now you can see i have uh, this title price brand and image column and if i click on this uh, save button it is saying submit form earlier it was form two now it is form three you can see this is the form three which i want to submit and after that i'm navigating to screen one underscore one which is my home screen and the home screen as well. I have to update uh, the form here as well, the reset form and uh, that's it. And you will see like this uh, new form. I have uh, added form here as well. And the only difference is the default mode of this edit form is added and uh, the default uh, mode for my this new form will be new so in a new it will open this form on added it will open this form and there is one cancel button on the added form which i have inserted which is navigating me to the screen one right here and if i go to this uh, image column you will see it is directly attached to your data source you don't have to do anything here you have to just uh, run it and let's suppose i'm giving it a name of uh, Samsung Galaxy or anything. Enterprise. And here in the image, you can see there is a tab or click add a picture. Once you click here, you have an option to add image. I can select an image from here. The image will shown in the preview and you have another option. There is change picture. So you can change the picture anytime that you want, right? So you can change the picture. The new picture will appear here. Once you click on the save, the data will be saved directly to your SharePoint list. So as you can see that uh, with the Samsung Galaxy, I have a new entry here. And if I go to my SharePoint list as well, you will see the data updated here as well. Or now if I click on this arrow, I can go here, can update my field anytime just removing this Samsung and I can just increase the price and if I click on the save the updated data will be saved to your power apps and the same thing will happen into your SharePoint as well and you can delete your data from here as well once you delete it the entire record it will be deleted from your SharePoint list so with uh, this image type column you can perform all CRUD operation and uh, you don't have to do anything uh, special here. It will by default uh, pick your column. Likewise, it used to pick the other SharePoint column, which was previously was not there. And in the uh, gallery screen, one more thing I will showcase you. You can see here I have referred this item dot IMG, which is referring the current item image column. And if I just put dot here, 
you will see there is an option of uh, full large medium and small so this is basically the size of the image that you can set from here as well so this is the another thing and, and i hope that using this particular sharepoint image type column it will open a new possibilities of uh, development areas into your power apps uh, application and you can use it into multiple scenarios that you are looking for i hope you like this video if you do like don't forget to subscribe learn and tech thank you so much for watching